Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the image file, which I will be using in this slideshow demonstration. You can download them from the given link in description. Now let's see how to create our slideshow, create a new composition, name it as slide 1. For this composition, we will set time duration to 2 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Here I will be using this foggy forest image, as background glossy tile. Here you can also use any other image of your choice. Let's pre-compose this image file, name it as image. Select move all attributes to new composition. For this image composition, in effects and preset. Search for mosaic. Add it to image composition. For mosaic. Set horizontal block to 20. Set vertical block to 15. Now search for fast box blur. Add it to image composition. Set blur radius to 20. Select repeat edge pixels. Change iteration to 1. Now we will pre-compose this image composition. I will name it as tiles. Perfect, now to this composition, from project panel, let's add the media file to timeline. You can scale your media file if needed. Let's pre-compose it. I will name it as media1. For this media composition, in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to media composition. Set output width and height to 200. Select mirror edges. Now for media composition, in effects and preset, search for transform. Add it to media composition. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for scale. Change scale to 180%. Now at 15 frames. Change scale value to 115%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Change scale value to 100%. Press U to view keyframes, select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. We will adjust the speed graph, make sure you are at speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph. Now at 15 frames, create keyframe for rotation. At start, change rotation to 5 degrees. Press U to view created keyframe, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for displacement map. Add it to adjustment layer. Change map layer to, tiles. Now at start. Create keyframe for horizontal displacement. Set displacement to zero. Now at 15 frames. Set displacement to 350. Now at 1 second, change displacement to 0. For adjustment layer, 
press U to view created keyframes, select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now at start, create keyframe for vertical displacement. Set displacement to 350. At 15 frames, set displacement to 0. At 1 second, create keyframe for vertical displacement. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, change displacement to 150. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here you can keep this animation for full screen, or you can scale this adjustment layer. Now adjust the alignment. Here you are free to adjust the position of this adjustment layer. To get variation in slideshow, you can change the adjustment layer for each slide. We will see how to do that, later in this tutorial. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Tehoma font family, align the text to center. Now let's animate this text layer. In animate, select tracking. Now at 10 frames, create keyframe for tracking amount. Set tracking amount to 20. At 1 second, change tracking amount to 0. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. You can see the preview. Here for this text layer, we will set the paragraph alignment to center text. Perfect. Let's recompose this text layer. Name it as text1. For this text composition, press R to bring up rotation, at 15 frames. Create keyframe for rotation, at start, change rotation to 15 degrees. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. For text layer, press S to bring up scale. Add 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for scale. Set scale to 65%. Now at 20 frames. Set scale value to 100%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Perfect. Now let's create a new null object. Let's parent all layers to null object. Perfect, now for null. Press R to bring up rotation, at 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for rotation, now go at end of the timeline. Change rotation to 10 degrees. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Perfect. For null, press S to bring up scale. At 15 frames, create keyframe for scale. At 1 second and 15 frames, 
create keyframe. Now at start of the timer line, change scale value to 150%. At end of the timer line, change scale value to 200%. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph. Let's see the preview. perfect. Here our slide 1 is created. Here if you want you can also add the shadow effect for the text composition. Set shadow opacity to 75%. Slightly increase softness value. Set shadow distance to 9. Similarly, we will create two more slides. And later on we will create final composition. Where we will bring all the three created slides together. Now the best and easy way to create more slide composition is to create duplicate of compositions. Select the slide 1 composition, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. Slide 2 and slide 3. Open the slide 2 and 3. For slide 3 and slide 2. We need to change this media composition. We will create duplicates of this media 1 composition. Media 2 and 3. Open media compositions. Let's replace this media file with new image. Select the media file you need to replace with, while pressing Alt key. Drag the image file over the previous image. This will replace the media file. We will do the same for media 3. Now select Media 3 image file. While pressing Alt key. Drag the image file over the Media 1. Now in slide composition, we will add these media files. In slide 2, select the Media 1 composition. Now select Media 2 composition, while pressing Alt key. Drag the Media 2 composition over the Media 1 composition. Perfect. Here you can see the composition is replaced. Let's do the same for slide 3. Select Media 3 composition, while pressing Alt key. Drag it over the Media 1 composition. Perfect. Now for slide compositions, you can adjust the adjustment layer position. Perfect. Now we will change this text compositions and also the text. Let's create duplicate of text composition. Now let's change the text. Now we will add this text composition to slides. In slide 2, let's replace this text 1 composition with text 2 composition. Perfect. In slide 3, replace this text 1 composition with text 3 composition. Perfect. Here are slide 1, slide 2, and slide 3 is ready. Now let's create our final composition. Name it as slideshow. Here I will set duration to 6 seconds, if you have created more than 3 slides. Then you can increase the time duration accordingly. Let's add slide 1, slide 2, and slide 3 composition to timeline. Place them one after the other as shown. Perfect. Now let's create new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, 
Search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Now you need to adjust the curves exactly as shown. Now search for brightness and contrast. Add it to adjustment layer. Set brightness to 10. Contrast to 5. Now search for sharpen. Add it to adjustment layer. Set sharpen to 10. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Change color to black. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, change mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Change top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our slideshow is created. Similarly, you can add multiple changes in this animation, and create your awesome looking slideshow. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.